Welcome, Journey to the Summit with Marley I Mystic. It is Friday once again, and I am so grateful to have made it to the end of another week. This week has flown by. I've stayed committed, I've stayed energized, and I've stayed organized. And I truly am grateful for the opportunity to once again come and fellowship with you, the global community. So welcome. This Friday, I'm excited because this weekend is uh, the healing circle. I get to go and meditate and have some intentional silence and just some real peace. And I'm looking forward to that because it is truly needed in my life. Just some time to meditate and focus and listen for God and listen to God and uh, get my prayer through to him. So I'm really grateful for the healing circle and for all that it has and all the souls who will be there in meditation. Um, I just cannot get over it. It just lined up great for me. So truly happy about that. Also excited because October is almost over. That means the year is quickly coming to an end. 2011 already seems like it just got here, but it has flown by and um, some real Heavy and landmark events has happened this year, so I'm grateful for 2011, and I'm looking to 2012 with high optimism. You know, November, the holidays, and the coming together of family, I think is a great time for healing and for conversations and for love, so I look forward to those opportunities. And then the Christmas season, you know, you actually get to spend time with your family for an extended period. Um, You know, people get work off and Kids are out of school, so I look forward to just having a warm and comfy home with my family here in it. So the end of 2011 is looking up, and I am grateful for it. I'm also grateful for October because I didn't even realize, but it's been a year since I started my blog, Mystic Mountain. And that is great because um, all my life I've really enjoyed performing and writing and singing and dancing and all those things that are forms of expression. And, um, you know, being busy in the workplace, being busy as a mother, and just going through everyday life, there's a lot of times where I don't get around to writing and I don't get around to performing. And my blog has really helped me stay consistent in using my writing as therapy. You know, um, I want to thank the poetry communities that I'm linked up with online because it's a support, it's an encouragement, you know, to be a part of these weekly or bi-weekly events. And um, it keeps you on your game. And it really has helped develop my writing skills, um, develop my uh, confidence in terms of sharing my writing, and also just the love of um, beautiful and supportive feedback from people and to be able to see other people's work and see that there are others on the spiritual path who are not afraid to get out there and say, yes, God has done something for me. He's healed me from illness. He's kept me. He's provided for me. And uh, just to see those people and to see them reflected in words and spoken word as I myself do, it's a real encouragement. So I'm grateful for one year of um, blogging on Mystic Mountain. And I hope that this second year of blogging goes even better and I learn even more and I'm able to um, share and, you know, encourage people in their work. And uh, this Journey to the Summit video blog is just another extension of that and being able to testify and give thanks for those who are supportive and those who are on the same path, you know. And I encourage you if, um, you know, you're feeling like, I want to share my story, I want to testify, just upload a video and, uh, you know, tag me on it, tag Marla Mystic on it, and I'll definitely come check you out and, you know, give feedback. It is really about community and about sharing. And um, I encourage you to do that because it feels so good. It's so freeing to be able to just talk and share whatever's on your mind, whatever's going on with you and know that someone out there is listening and um, perhaps it's helping them or perhaps it's helping you. But either way, it can be of an assistance. So I am truly grateful for that. One thing I do want to speak of is um, the energy of the planet. I want to know, is anybody else feeling this 
um, unsettled energy that Mother Earth has. I'm in the Bay Area and last Friday or last Thursday we had two earthquakes and then Friday we had two more. Yesterday, right after I did the video blog, there was another earthquake. And, you know, I'm a Cali girl. I don't really get frightened from earthquakes or anything like that. But the frequency and the intensity of these earthquakes, hmm, makes me wonder. Maybe there's something we can be doing that, to better the energy and to better the feeling on the planet. Because clearly Mother Earth is uh, disturbed and at disease and needs some, uh, she, Mother Earth needs a healing circle. <laughs> Mother Earth needs us all to come together and meditate and pray and offer some silence and some peace, peace between one another and peace between us and the planet. And to really just say, hey, we, we understand, we honor you and we respect you and we honor and respect each other because I don't think that the, the energy on the planet is um, supporting us in our efforts of war and hate and greed and capitalism and all of those things that are not about unity and love. So we really need to bring about peace, love, and perfection throughout all creation, just as John Coltrane said. Let's bring that out. Let's send that energy to the earth. Let's send it to the water. Let's send it to the trees. Let's send it to the top of the sky, to the stars, and to the sun. Let's send it out there in everything that we do so that we can understand each other and so that we can live our best lives here on earth. I can't say enough about it. It it really is a subject close to home. I love Mother Earth. I'm a green girl and um, it's very important that we actually put some focus on things besides self. Besides self in terms of ourselves, our family, our country, our little section of the corner. Whatever it is, we need to stop that and really focus on the love for community. Because for us, the whole globe is community. And remember that. Anyway, um, I don't have much to say. Just want to check in and tell you Friday is here. And I'm glad for it. I look forward to the weekend. And I will check in with you all again tomorrow. Peace and blessings. A love supreme.